Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we have an interesting video for you today. We have a thoroughbred that unfortunately broke his hip going into a stall. Um, we'll tell you more about that. And now he's terrified to come out. And so the owner called me and is gonna see if we can figure out a way to get him out of his stall so that she can bring him home where he's a little more quiet, more settled and easier to care for him. Let's jump into it. So I'm here with Kat and her horse, Mary Lander, mm -hmm. her new, new horse, newly acquired horse, Mary new Lander. Acquired. And uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on and why you called me to bring me over here today. Yeah, Mary Lander is a six-year-old OTTB. He was acquired from a rescue group by somebody local here about a month and a half ago. Unfortunately, he broke his pelvis. And at this point, he does need to be moved from the boarding stable, but he's so scared of the stall that he won't go out the stall door so he's, he's stuck here so I'm hoping you can help me work through some of his fear so we can get him home to a quiet place to heal up so so he got hurt coming out of the stall at one point and yeah. uh, so that's where he broke his hip and then the other day you tried to bring him out of the stall and he didn't want to come out or yeah what? he just uh he gets really close to the stall and he'll bring all four feet really close to the edge of the stall but then once the um his head gets past it he starts getting like really big and bringing his head up and i don't want him to jump out and hurt his hip again and then so obviously he can walk around that sort of thing but is there any other physical limitations that i should know about with him before we start trying to get him out of the stall <laughs> just, and, th just and then we're also we also brought a trailer over here i brought my trailer because it's got a really low um the the loading point is very low it's also got a ramp so we're thinking it's gonna be as easy as possible cat needs to bring him over to her house now um, so this is what kind of the situation that we're in. The reason it's really important for us to get him out of the stall today, and keep in mind he broke his hip on the stall, so he's terrified to go in and out of the stall. The reason that this is important is because these horses get run in um, in the morning and in the evening, and so he's the only one left in the barn, and that gets him really riled up, and so he starts spinning around, and that's not good for, um, obviously, his, his ailments right now. So the owner will be able to care for him a lot better if she can get him home. So that's what we're gonna do is see if we can get this horse comfortably out of the stall and uh, relocated. I'm gonna take a quick second to interrupt this video and tell you about my Patreon page. So if you would like to have more content that gets into more detail about the ins and outs and techniques of horsemanship, and if you would like to have me as your horsemanship guide, join my Patreon page. We give weekly videos on there. There's monthly giveaways. You can ask for video coaching. You can request specific videos to film uh, that are gonna be beneficial to you and your horse. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and I'll see you guys on there. Let me just see what he does. That would be great. But then he's still gotta go on the trailer, right? Release him there, yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're starting to bring his head down now with pressure because that's what we've been working on. Yep. So that's good he's not going to bonk himself. But. Yeah, well, and, and he's curious with the other horses coming in now. He's wanting yeah. to look, so. But that is as far as I've gotten him. Why don't you just come and stand just over here and just okay. keep keep putting a little feel, and if he tries, release. Um, let's cat. Let's use the same technique of you put a feel here, and I'll just gently tap him. Wherever. Okay. Little feel. Yep, little feel. There we go. Little feel. Go 
why don't you go ahead and step off to the side again. Try not to let him go back in if he tries to. Yep. Go ahead and keep going, Cap. Put a feel. What? Yeah. Go ahead and step over to the side by Emily a little bit more. Don't try to hold him. Don't try to hold him. So at this point, I realize that he is very legitimately afraid to come out of this stall. And I don't want to tap him any harder um, and make it more uncomfortable to be in there um, because, you know, his hip is, is hurting him and that sort of thing. And I just, it doesn't feel right to keep pressing there. So I'm going to see if I can figure out a different way to ask him to come out of the stall. I don't think this is going to work, but I want to try one thing. Okay. I hate to have it have it work and then not try to not have tried it at all. Oh, I mean, is that like a baby noise? No. Oh. Come on, give it a try. Well, he's not going to straighten it because he's not thinking about coming out of it. This actually might work, though. foot out too. I know you want to. Okay, you want to stand in front of him again?
poor guy. Well, <laughs> he's out. <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> yeah. So I ended up asking him to follow a feel out with his leg. And to me, this ended up being a bit of a workaround. This is probably something different that nobody's ever asked him to do. With pulling on the halter and tapping him, um, that was something that he had already was leaning on pressure. This horse had a really strong instinct to push into pressure. Um, he had been raced for like five years and his experience with pressure was pushing into it. And so that wasn't going to work. We were going to have to get really big and it wouldn't have been fair to him. So I had to come up with a workaround and it turned out that this way worked really well. So I'm very excited. And uh, now we're going to work our way into loading him into the trailer and bringing him to his new home. <laughs> much better than I was expecting. Yeah. And he trailer, trailered really well. That went great. So it was really isolated too. He got scared of the stall when, when, right. he, when he hurt, hurt himself. Yeah, I was really surprised how quickly he went into the trailer. He's like walked right in. I think he looks pretty, pretty happy to be here. He seems pretty content, doesn't so, he? Very cool. All right. Nice job. Thank you.